rough when you think about Lincoln and Washington first versus 16th, but. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. That just was the first one that popped in. Did you see the but, movie? Uh, no. But I read some books. Oh, that's even better. And I went to history class. I didn't ditch that class. I'm more actually, impressed. Yeah. So <laughs> along with going to history class, Jeremy is also our knife and gadget aficionado. And yeah. he brought something uh, that we just debuted, um, I believe, earlier this month around Valentine's Day from Kuhn Rakan. Yes. Uh, the gadget company of the world. Uh, these are really great. They're a set of glass spice grinders. So, so much more than just salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. We love glass because it's a little bit more elevated for our countertops, easy to take care of. And um, this is a new design actually too from Kuhn Rakan. Mm -hmm. A little taller and leaner and easier to grab a hold of. Yep. These are under $25 for both and on five easy payments of under $5. Why don't you come over here? Okay. So what do you got? I'll quickly show colors to everybody. So you're going to get a set matching colors of cinnamon. Here is turquoise. Mm. The black, and look at that, the super sharp and ultra modern white. K48545 is your item number. Okay. Yes. Uh, talk to me about this. Okay, so this is now probably most folks are going to get these to use for salt and pepper. That's just the main two spices that you use for every meal practically. And this is great. You can load your own salt in here, it's going to grind it fine or coarse. It allows you to adjust if you turn this to the right all the way, you're going to get super fine. If you turn it to the left, it's going to come out thicker and coarse. Uh, talk to me, is there a reason why, um, or is there a difference in using a coarse for salt versus a fine? You know, uh, sure, there's certain things, certain stews and meats that you don't need really fine. Okay. Then there's certain things that you want just a little bit on there, but you want it everywhere, so you get it nice and fine for that. There are things like pink salts that come in bags, and these come out really thick and coarse. You can see those are like little stones there. I only want size a size of salt like that on a pretzel. I don't necessarily Ex want well, that exactly on top like of my, that. You know, chicken breast. Or like heartier meats, you'll use more coarse salts and okay. peppers oh, like okay. that. Um, finer things, you'll use less. So you can load this. All you do is take the lid off here and you load it inside and then just, you can see there. Now remember, this is glass, not plastic, which is always a benefit for your herbs. If you own an herb garden, now this is where you might want to get more than one set, is you can do your own herbs inside of here, your own blends. One of the toughest things to use is rosemary because it's so hard to chop. Mm -hmm. So if you have a rosemary plant, this is a godsend. Take the rosemary, rrrr, off the, you gotta make that noise though. Okay. <laughs> Take it off the stem, put it inside of here, and now you can grind your own fresh rosemary for rosemary potatoes, for rosemary chicken. What's nice is as I'm grinding it, you can also see the amount that's coming out in the lip there as a nice big lip. So then I can also just pour this out. And you said these are ceramic blades that are grinding? So they're okay. ceramic inside. So you want that good ceramic grinder, especially when you're doing peppercorns or big Himalayan pink salts or things like that. Right. Uh, because I know a lot of a lot of grinders um, are plastic on the inside. Yeah, that's and right. And you say that that isn't always the best Plastic choice. won't really grind. Peppercorns are too hard. That's why. Um, okay. uh, coarse salt, it won't grind. So this is a professional ceramic grinder inside of there. And another thing is that they stand upright. Whenever you have a salt and pepper shaker, oh. that's the other way around. And I guarantee, is there any salt and pepper in those? I guarantee yeah, you, if be. they are loaded and you pick those up, there will be some salt on the table. Right here. Look at the table. You can see, I There'll don't be know some if they salt and over. probably some pepper under that because it's just the way that they are. Yeah, that Let's happens all the time, and it really makes is, a lazy. Is there Susan. a pepper in the other one? Yeah. Oh, look at and see? pepper in the other one. I mean, it's just a little. I just I just guessed because we've all had that. You pull it and you have herbs mm -hmm. in your. Um, in your cabinet. It's now remember, a lot of times when you buy somewhere. herbs like oregano, <laughs> herbs de Provence, Italian seasoning, they come in a jar like this. And this can also do the um, red pepper Red flakes. pepper flakes, awesome. sure. So take it out of the jar, okay. the, because you still want to open up the flavor. So when you're doing like herbs de Provence or Italian seasoning, it is going to, let me just tighten this up a little bit, and it is going to crack open that flavor, mm -hmm. which is what you want to do. Sometimes you'll see a chef rub their hands together. It releases seal. oils, doesn't it? It releases yeah. all the flavor in the oils, and that's what you want for your dried herbs. You'll love it. Now, what I did here is this is just an Herbs de Provence. That's rosemary, thyme, oregano, marjoram, savory, fennel, and French lavender. Mm. And then we added salt and pepper. So this is all one spice grinder. I love to use that on white flaky fish. Oh, white like fish. This is ready or, for that white fish yeah. for chicken, 
over the top here. I mean, even in your pasta sauce here, you could do this right up. Can you smell that fresh herb? It's Is beautiful. It's right now, there's the nothing better than, than, than a fresh or if you're taking a dried and being able to work those oils out. Yeah. So you can get so much more flavor. Oh, smell that. I could just smell the oregano and the, mm, I'm getting some of that French lavender there. Now, also, if you're on the flaxseed diet, a lot of people ask, will this do flaxseeds? Absolutely. Remember, you want to crack those flat seeds to activate it. So for your smoothies and mm -hmm. things like that, you can go ahead and just crack that and put it right over the top. Oh, that's nice because um, I know they have um, ground bagged flax, flax yeah. seed. You have to keep it in the refrigerator. Correct. It's very expensive. So this is a more affordable way if you can keep it dry, but you crack it, that's you release right. all the benefits. That, I love that. That's absolutely yeah. correct. And other things like you said, absolutely. You want to do your red flakes in here. It's just a, a handy tool. If you cook with a lot of herbs, get more than one set. Keep one for salt and pepper. Put your oregano, uh, your thyme, maybe your, your Italian seasoning or your red flakes in the other one. It's always handy. It doesn't fall out when you store it. It stays upright. Awesome. Again, keeping the cabinet clean, the tabletop clean is just genius. And the size that you can grab and hold, because the older version used to be fatter on the bottom and it was cumbersome. So Kuhn Rakan heard you gave it the slimmer desi design in these great colors. Uh, five easy payments and everything on air and online. So maybe you can pick up more than one. Here is that cinnamon, very, very popular. Turquoise. Here's your set of black. And by the way, the bottom glass, top rack dishwasher hand wash the grinder part at the top. And here is your white, brand new from Kuhn Rakan, K48545. That's it from Jeremy. Awesome. All right. Good to see you. Go High watch five. Lincoln the movie. All right. Only for fun. You've okay. already done your homework reading all okay. the books. Okay, I'll check out the Very impressive, by the way, my friend. <laughs> hey, we've got a couple of things coming up from Temptations in the show.